Hello, my name is Mark Vila with Coldesi, and thanks for coming to visit us online. We're here to talk about making t-shirts just like this, which start as t-shirt transfers like this. So you're shopping online and you're, pro and you're curious about a transfer printer. And today I'm gonna to talk about the two most popular types of t-shirt transfers and the number one problem that people face that I've seen in the past 15 years of me doing this. And that problem is choosing the right printer for your business. If you don't pick the right printer, you're not gonna be happy, you're gonna give up, and that's not what we're here to do at Coldesi. We're here to help you succeed and help you achieve your dreams. So let's go ahead and talk about the two most top popular types of printers, which are direct-to-film printers and white toner printers. Okay, so when we're talking about those two different types of printers, the uh, white toner printers and the direct-to-film, printers. Um, you've probably heard about DTF or direct-to-film. You may have if you're uh, in business right now or you're just starting to get into it because it's all, you know, kind of the new buzz. The past couple years, DTF has really grown, but white toner printing has been around for a while now, and it's really the most popular way people are making transfers with us over here at Coldesi. So we should go ahead and just clear up some of the differences. So which one's better? Right, that's kind of what everyone comes here to ask. Which one's better? What's better, DTF or right toner? You know, and, and there's going to be people right now who may already think they have that answer. But the real answer is unfortunately a bit of a non-answer because it's what's better for you, right? What's better for your business, for what you're going to make, for your goals, and we're going to dive into that. And I think the best way to compare that is just a really simple analogy, and that's what's better, you know, a Tesla or a Ford F250. Right? So you may have an opinion on that, but really what are you going to do? Right? If you own a roofing company or a construction company and you're hauling bricks and roofing tiles all over the state, well, having a Tesla doesn't really make sense for that. Probably does it. You're gonna tear up the back seat, the, you're not gonna get enough miles out of the charging, you're not, you know, the charging takes long, whatever those reasons are. Um, on the flip side, if you live in the inner city area and you're commuting in the inner city and you're parking in tight spaces and parking garages, well, having a big F-250, Ford F-250, is just isn't comfortable for that. It's big, it's loud, you don't have enough uh, gas mileage, you can't park in certain parking spaces, you know? So all there's now you're starting to see and kind of build the picture on which one is better. So which one is better for you? So let's go ahead and dive into that a little bit. So let's go ahead and talk about what they both do, right? What do both toner and DTF do? They both print on transfer paper like this. They both can be transferred onto light and dark colored garments. They both can print on cotton, polyesters, and blends. Uh, and they both can do white as well, which is the key for doing dark color garments or logos like this. So that is why these are two very popular because of the versatility of what they can go on and the ability to print white, which means you can go on the dark colored garments and achieve all the different colors that you want. You know, like a cartoon character needs white eyes or a logo might need white letters. Let's go ahead and start with some strengths and we'll talk about the strength of direct-to-film prints first, right? So for one is they're really soft and have a great stretch. It's one of the benefits of liquid inks. Uh, the second is that they're really high production. You can produce hundreds and hundreds of shir shirts a day with direct-to-film printers. They're automated, uh, so they're really fantastic for that. Uh, and they are a really low cost per print. So that's your strengths of direct-to-film printing. Now we'll talk about the strengths of these toner prints. So for one, you can do a one-off print like this really easy. So you could take the artwork, hit print, and have it on a t-shirt in just a few minutes. Um, next is because there's no liquid inks, there's essentially no maintenance on the machine. So you turn it on, hit print, turn it off. That's fantastic, which makes it great for weekend warriors, people who have side hustles that you only have a few hours to work with in a night or on a weekend. You want to spend all that time doing production and not a lot of time doing maintenance. And the last one, which is important for a lot of folks, is it's the lowest cost to entry, meaning the equipment is on the lower end of pricing and it's, it's affordability, especially for uh, when you're doing financing, monthly payments, things like that. All right, next I wanna just cover some questions that come up frequently uh, when we talk about the differences between uh, direct-to-film and white toner. Um, and one is, I don't know, it's just kind of a funny one to me. Uh, so this is film, right? And this is film. 
and they were both put in a printer that directly printed on both of them, but this one's called direct to film and this one's not. So I think that's kind of just a funny thing. I don't name these things, okay? But um, the real difference, you know, is just liquid ink and toner. And I think that that's an important difference to make because that changes um, the, what the output looks like and a bit of the main. Now, what I mentioned before was about cost of entry, right? And we had said that the toner was a lower cost of entry. And some folks might say, well, aren't there some cheaper DTF printers out there? And I would say no, right? If there was a inexpensive, low cost to entry, direct to film printer that was reliable, good quality, lasts, and good for your business, we would have one here at Coldesi. Our salespeople would love if we had one that was just cheap and inexpensive and was easy to sell and nobody ever you know, was worried about the price. But that's not what we're about here at Coldesi. We're about providing you good equipment, help you succeed. And for right now, with the current technology and where things are, direct to film printers are really good in the high production space and the cheaper ones are just really not there. And we're not scared about selling, you know, low cost printers. We sell sublimation printers that are around $600. We sell cutters that start in the low thousands. So we've got equipment that isn't necessarily always real expensive, but it is really good equipment. So if you want something that's of good quality, that's going to last and work and all that stuff, Direct to film's great for the high production, a little, a little bit higher on the price, and the toner is great if you're looking for something with a lower cost of entry. Uh, next question we get a lot is, how am I gonna use it? How am I gonna learn? Is it hard to use? Can I train people? Um, all these questions. So the good news is, is that whenever you purchase something from Coldesi, you're gonna get training and support for your equipment, your staff. So if you start using it and you wanna have someone else in the family start using it with you, or you hire somebody, um, all this equipment's reasonably easy to train people on and you have access to um, live online courses, uh, support over the phone, videos that you can watch, you know, in the middle of the night, whatever you wanna do. So we really help to make it easy for you to be able to get trained and to get your questions asked as they come up. The next thing I wanna talk about is what can they print on, right? I mentioned a bit earlier about the lights and the darks and cotton and poly and all that stuff. Uh, but direct to film prints are primarily for textile. So these are gonna be for t-shirts or hoodies or what I'm wearing right here, right? And the, there's a little bit of a difference with that with the toner prints though. So the toner prints do have papers and films that will work for hard surfaces too. So you could do wood, metal, ceramic. It's a really cool versatile way of printing. And that is another reason why I like white toner for kind of the weekend warrior type of persons. Cause when you get a job, you want to be able to say yes. And the toner printers give you the most yeses in regards to the amount of things they can do. And, uh, and going back to, uh, to the direct to film printers, if you are looking to print a ton of transfers, this will print t-shirt transfers all day, all the time, super fast at a low cost. So both fantastic, uh, but primarily a, an apparel or textile transfer here. I'll show you one more thing about the direct to film transfers and that's this big roll right here of transfers. So this is how it comes out. Uh, it is a, uh, what's called a roll to roll printer. So what that means is you have a roll of paper, it goes through the printer and you have a roll of transfers that come out and you cut them all up. And the toner is a sheet printer. So you get uh, 11 by 17 sheets like here, and there's a bunch of different sizes um, for that. So you can print sheets of it, and if you need to do little stuff, you know, you can cut them down just like this. So by now, I think you probably are leaning on what direction uh, is better for you in regards to what type of equipment you wanna to use to print transfers. And I'm sure that this video's opened up more questions than it's actually answered, uh, which is good. That means you're learning and you're starting to, to get a grasp of where your business is going to head. So the next thing you can do to get all those questions answered and get more information is to uh, fill out a form online or go ahead and give us a call and one of our experts will walk you through everything you need to do uh, to get started and learn and make a good choice and get successfully printing t-shirt transfers. So thanks for watching.